Hi guys, it's Cece from CC Restyled and um, today I'm showing you how to um, print your own custom transfers. They're rub-on transfers um, and we all know I love Redesign with Prima transfers and I use them all the time, but every once in a while um, I need an image that I don't have a transfer for, um, for some custom jobs. Um, this one in particular is Alice in Wonderland themed and I need some playing cards and teacups and things like that that um, there aren't transfers for already. So I'm going to print my own and I'm going to mix them in with the redesign with Prima um, flowers and scripts and things like that. So um, just another little element of customization and um, getting a custom look and it's it's very easy to print your own transfers. Um, it com I get my rub-on transfer paper from Amazon and it is this Sunny Scopa brand of, they call it rub-off transfer paper. So this one is actually clear. They also have white. Um, the only problem with the white is that when you cut out your transfer image, the edges will show if you don't cut it um, perfectly to um, where your print ends, you'll have white edges. Um, so I like the clear. The only problem with that is that you can't, you need to put it on a light or white um, painted surface. Um, it won't show up on dark colors because it is transparent, but it looks really great on white or light colored paints. So um, the instructions come inside and they're pretty easy to follow, but I'll show you how um, I print my own eight and a half by 11 sheet of transfer, and then I will show you how I apply it. So on my computer, I've got my image, and this is a stock image that I downloaded, or I, I actually paid for the use of the image and downloaded it from Shutterstock, and they are these Alice in Wonderland playing cards and I need to print these because I'm going to, like I said, layer them in with some redesign with Prima flowers, um, floral transfers. Um, so I'm going to start, I have my image and I'm going to start by mirroring my image. So whatever you print, it's going, you need to, whatever image you want to use, you need to print it backwards. Um, so now that I have my image backwards, I'm gonna go ahead and load my transfer paper. So there, this set comes with the transfer paper sheet, and then it also comes with a backing paper sheet, which is this soup, like really thick, glossy um, material. And the transfer sheet has a glossy side or a semi-glossy side and a matte side. So you wanna print to the shinier side. Um, that's the side that you want to print. So you want to figure out which way is up on your printer. I've already done that. And I'm just going to load up one sheet and I'm going to go ahead and print my image. Um, it will ask you, do you want to print to scale or not to scale? If you need this a perfect size, um, then do not print it to scale. I'm sorry, then print it to scale. If you just want it to fit on the page and not bleed off so you waste a sheet of paper, then hit fit to page and then print. So now we just have to wait for our um, transfer to print. And I should add that you do need to um, be using an inkjet printer. Uh, the, a laser jet printer will, I think, just melt the paper. So you need to use an old school inkjet uh, printer like this old school one here, it's pretty awesome and slow, but most inkjet printers are. Anywho, we're gonna let that print. Shouldn't take too terribly long. So after you print your transfer, um, we have a hair dryer here. We're gonna need to dry and cure the ink with a hair dryer because you wanna make sure it's dry if you try to apply it. Um, while the ink is wet to the adhesive and the backing paper, um, you're gonna have a mess on your hands. So you wanna make sure it's dry and we're gonna use a heat dryer, or heat dryer, <laughs> hair dryer to do so. Um, you're also gonna need a squeegee or a credit card or a transfer tool or something like that, something hard that you can use to burnish the transfer into the adhesive and then, the, and then back onto the backing paper. 
so this shouldn't take too terrible long. All right, here it comes. All right, so you wanna be careful not to touch the ink because if it's still wet, you might smudge it. And this paper, I think you get five sheets for like 13 or $14 in a pack. So it's not super economical, but it's also not astronomical. So, but you definitely don't wanna waste it when you only have five sheets, so. All right, here comes our full color transfer. And then I'm gonna tilt you down and then we're just going to uh, put the blow dryer on this until the ink is cured as soon as it comes out. We'll go ahead and get our backing paper ready. So the other piece that you'll need is this, it's got the adhesive and the backing paper that you put it back on after you apply the adhesive on it. You've got, um, it's, it's super shiny. So that's how you can tell the difference. This one's super shiny and thick. So that's not the one you print on. And here is the one that we print on. Okay, so there is our image ink side up. Okay, so that's the side we're gonna apply the adhesive to. So when you actually cut out and apply your transfer, it'll be going this way. So see how it's now um, the correct orientation? But we're gonna go ahead and blow dry it with our dryer, hair dryer, maybe. So we've dried it with our hair dryer. Um, now what we want to do is carefully remove the adhesive layer. So it's stuck, it's going to be stuck to another sheet. Um, so basically you're peeling off this. There's a clear, clear layer and a white layer. So basically you're peeling off the white layer and you wanna make sure that the adhesive stays stuck to the clear la layer, okay? We've had some that are pretty tricky and you don't wanna peel it off the wrong way. So you wanna peel it off carefully so it doesn't flip back and stick to itself. Okay, and then, let's see. Okay, so then on our ink side, you wanna take your adhesive layer and stick it as best you can right back on to your transfer, to the ink side that you printed to. Okay, so now I've got my squeegee and I'm just gonna burnish that really, really hard to get that adhesive all on the back of my um, playing cards here. So after you have that all rubbed on really well, you wanna carefully peel off the clear layer, or I'm sorry, the, um, gosh, what am I saying? You wanna pe peel off this clear plasticky layer because this is the front of the transfer and that's the transfer paper 
ink side down. So you want, you want to try to peel off just the clear layer, which it can be tricky. I'm not going to lie. I'm spoiled with my Prima transfers that they just peel right on off. Actually, I don't have to do this process with the Prima transfers. It's already done. Okay, so you want to peel off this clear layer here. And you've got to do it carefully because um, if you mess up your adhesive, you kind of mess up your whole sheet. Okay, so now I want to take the, um, there's kind of a textured side and an untextured side to um, the sheet that was on our, that was on our adhesive sheet. And you want to just stick that back onto the back of your transfer. And that just keeps it protected from, you know, sticking to everything until you use it. And that's all that's for. I'm gonna burnish it one more time. And after I do this, it's ready to use. All I gotta do is cut out my cards or whatever graphic you choose to print cut it out and since this is the clear material um, I still like to cut and leave just a little bit of an edge um, and it won't show because it's clear and they apply just like a regular redesign with Prima transfer okay so say I have this my image cut out that I want to use I just peel off my backing paper okay and then I apply it just like I would a regular transfer um, and that's it for the printing process. See, it's super easy and only took 10 minutes. So um, now I'm gonna go and show you how to apply these and um, uh, I'm gonna show you how to layer them in with the redesign with Prima transfers. All right, so now that we have our transfers printed and um, the adhesive applied, we're ready to go ahead and place them on our piece of furniture. Um, as you can see on this door here, um, I've used a mix of my own transfers and some redesign with Prima transfers um, to add some interest and create a custom look. So um, you wanna start by wiping down your, your piece or your surface that you're going to apply to. Make sure you don't have any dust or, you know, I had some sawdust from drilling these holes on there. So I wipe that off and just make sure it's clean and dry. Um, and then we have got our transfers that we printed. I cut those apart and I am going to, I cut those apart um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut them out. You can cut them all the way to, all the way to the edge of the print. I like to leave a little space around the edge about, um, Mm, about an eighth, in between about a sixteenth and an eighth, just a little bit of space for my fingers um, in case I have to touch the edge of the transfer. That way I don't mess up my, um, my print. So I will show you about how I cut those out. About like that. See the space around the edge? Not too much. And I'll cut this one out. And then I ended up printing a few like steampunk gears as well. There is a redesign with Prima um, steampunk transfer with the gears and I used some of those on this piece behind me. Um, but then I ran out of them so I needed to print some off at the last minute. So um, I did that um, already. Okay, so here's our other one. And like I said, I'm going to layer these with redesign with Prima transfers. Uh, I want them to look, um, I want the florals and then I might want some of the cards poking out or kind of coming up from, I, wa I wanna kind of almost mirror this one a little bit, maybe flip it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my door just like that in my piece so I can see what it's gonna look like real quick. Is that right? I think it's upside down. Oh, upside down. That was close. That was a close call. So you, you can see that I already applied the transfers that I printed as well as redesigned the Prima transfers to the, the other drawers in the door. And I've sealed those with um, top coat in satin from Dixie Bell. Um, you can seal with clear wax, water-based sealer, um, 
those are really your your two options so I think what I want to do is have my cards Hmm. I'm going to kind of mirror it. So I maybe have my cards coming up from the bottom. Something kind of like, something kind of like that. And then my flowers up in this corner and some steampunk ears and a little bit of the, the script font there. Um, that just creates some texture. So these mix really well with the redesign with Prima transfers. They stick. Um, like I said earlier, they are a little bit transparent. So just be careful of that. When you, when you are deciding where you want to place your transfers, um, whatever you put these on will show through. So that's why I'm using mine on the bottom layer um, and then putting my florals and my cogs, you know, up top but I don't I don't think I'm gonna be overlapping these a whole heck of a lot so um, I'm gonna place these I think just like wait, how, how did I want them maybe like that maybe just like that so I'll go ahead and place this one first so I know okay um, so just like a redesign transfer we're gonna to want to peel the backing paper off and you want to be careful with the homemade transfers, sometimes the adhesive wants to stick to the sheet that you peel away. So just make sure that your adhesive is sticking to the transfer portion. And then you wanna place it roughly, it's, they're very sticky, so you wanna roughly place it where about where you want it to be. And I'm gonna have it falling off the edge just a tad. See how I have it falling off the edge? I, I really like overlapping and oversized or you know my graphics falling off the edge I just think it looks really cool for whatever reason so um, I'm gonna go ahead and go over this with my transfer tool the redesign with Prima transfers come with a little stick you can use that or you can use the transfer tool that they offer um, you could use a credit card even if you need to or anything flat hard that you can just burnish um, your transfer on and burnish just means to rub once you've burnished the whole thing, just pick a corner and start peeling slowly because you want to make sure your graphic is all the way down. And it looks like this one stuck really well. So next you want to burnish it with your fingers or a soft cloth in your finger. Um, that just means to go over it and rub firmly to make sure there's no air bubbles. Um, if there's any wrinkles, you can smooth out those wrinkles. Um, but but the air bubbles need to be released. You can either pop them with a little pin or um, sometimes with your finger you can pop them out. Okay, so this one we're gonna want to place right here. And just like the last one, I'm going to peel away slowly my backing paper. And without touching, you wanna try not to touch the adhesive as much as possible. I'm just gonna place that down. I've got a little bit of overhang here. I'm just gonna snip that off. Easy peasy. Burnish it on with my tool. And peel away the backing paper slowly. Make sure it's stuck. Burnish it with my fingers to pop out any air bubbles or wrinkles or whatever. You wanna make sure the edges are down really well also. Okay, so next I'm gonna add my steampunk gears. So I'm gonna cut around fairly close to the edge of the steampunk gears. Um, whatever of the non-printed part that you don't cut out is, um, it's transparent and it won't show. So I, this is why I like the clear printer paper better that I was telling you about earlier. You know, they, they have it in white and clear. This is why I like the clear because it doesn't show. If it was white, you would have to cut it um, all the way up to your ink, which A, is fairly hard to do, especially if you have a print with a lot of detail. And um, B, yeah, it's just a lot of, a lot of cutting to do. I kind of want to keep my keep pieces connected here so I can just place them one time and peel away one time instead of placing all of these individually. I wouldn't be able to do that with the white without it showing. Okay. 
and I want to show you. Remember how I left an edge around my, my transfer? See, it's totally clear. You can't see it at all. So that's great. So I was going to do flowers up in this corner, and I want this, the cogs poking out a little bit from the flowers, so I'm going to place them somewhat like this, something like this. And I'm going to peel away my backing paper slowly. And it looks like this one's not wanting, this one's wanting to stick to the wrong part of the, this one's not wanting to stick to the transfer. It's wanting to stick to the paper that I peel away. So you just got to be really careful. And sometimes you got to kind of pull that adhesive away. Be careful not to let it roll up on itself. It's, it can be very hard. So this one, the adhesive is wanting to pull away from the backing paper. So I'm actually going to, to make my life a little easier, I'm going to unroll it halfway and I'm going to go ahead and place it where I want it, which is like this. And I'm going to lay it down and I'm slowly going to peel the backing paper away from underneath it. Does that make sense? And I'm going to stick it as it peels away. I'm going to go over it with my stick real quick. And then peel away my um, transfer paper. Again, I'm going to burnish it with my finger to make sure there's no bubbles or wrinkles. There's a little wrinkle that I'm just going to smooth out. Okay, so for that that's it for my home homemade printed on my inkjet printer um transfer so now i'm going to go ahead and apply my redesign with prima transfers the first one i'm going to be using is called never ending story it's just this these blocks of text and um i love these because they just create a really nice texture and some interest um i've read parts of it but it doesn't really mean a whole lot to me it's just i think a story or quotes or something like that so it's not anything um, I don't know it doesn't mean anything in particular to me so I'm just gonna cut this um, to the edge yeah I want it to come all the way to the edge so I'm gonna use the edge to line up my scissors where I want to cut this And that is the piece of this transfer that I'm going to use. Again, the, this text is just for some nice texture and some interest and, and just another layer of interest to my, to my piece. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and peel away my backing paper just like we did on our homemade transfers. These are a little bit easier to peel away most of the time, for all, pretty much all the time. Be careful not to touch the adhesive on the back and line it up where you would like it, which I'm gonna line it up towards the bottom. Once you have it where you want it, you wanna press down with your fingers so it stays in place. Then I'm going to take my tool and rub all over the whole entire thing, just like we did for the others. Once you're sure you have it rubbed all over, we can pick a spot to start peeling up. And you wanna go slowly to make sure it's all laid down. And I'm gonna burnish it with my finger as I go. Usually these little tiny ones don't, little tiny lines of text don't get too much air bubbles, but you never know, they get wrinkles. So you wanna press them down too to make sure they're fully adhered. If they're not fully adhered, you could possibly experience problems after you seal it um, with it peeling and coming up. So um, I just wanna take the extra time to, to press it down 
um, to make sure I don't experience any of those problems um, after I seal it. It's a lot of hard work to let go to waste if you don't take the extra moment to press in or burnish shoe transfer. Okay, so that's where we're at so far. Now I'm gonna add some flowers up here around the top. Um, and then I think they will be good to go. Um, the flowers that I'm going to use are um, Lavender Fields and Rose and Rouge. I'm using a little bit of both of these. The Lavender Fields tends to be a little bit transparent. So I like to lay those down first because if I lay them over my Rose and Rouge, generally you can see through them. So the Rose and Rouge is fairly opaque. So I'm gonna lay down my Lavender Fields first. And I'm going to use perfect. This is perfect. I'm going to start with this big piece right here. And I'm, I want it to kind of come like this. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to apply it. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it. Actually, I'm gonna cut off these little chunks, this little chunk that doesn't go with it. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it. And instead of cutting it beforehand, I'm gonna cut it after this time. So I'm gonna peel off my backing paper slowly. Careful not to touch my adhesive or let my transfer stick to itself because then it's ruined. I'm going to place it where I wanted it, which is right here rub it down and then now I'm gonna go ahead since that's stuck and I know it's not gonna move on me well very easily um, I'm gonna go ahead and take my scissors or a sharp knife a sharp knife works better but I have scissors handy so and then I'm just gonna cut cut that flush with the edge or as flush as I possibly can anyways looks like I goofed up a little bit there we go that's better same thing with this side. Just gonna cut it flush to the edge. You can wrap it around like the extra, you can wrap it around to the side of the door or drawer or whatever. Um, and I do that once in a while. Um, but for this project, I think that I just prefer to cut it off. So I'm gonna go ahead and burnish with my transfer tool just like I did all the others. Once I'm confident I've rubbed it all over, I'm going to pick a corner, start to peel up and slowly peel it away so I can make sure everything's sticking well. it with my fingers. Okay. So there I've layered my redesign with Prima transfer over my little steampunk cogs. Um, I have a few more patches or areas where I want to add some florals. Um, and then after that, I'm going to seal it with Dixie Belle top coat in satin. I just like the satin. You can use flat, glossy, satin, um, clear wax. Um, I just like the satin, that's my favorite. So um, then we'll let that dry and then we are all good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish that up. Um, I appreciate you watching. Hopefully you learned some things and you're excited to try your own custom transfers that you can but don't have to layer with the Redesign with Prima transfers. Thank you and have a great day.